Hello, this is Cassius, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force. Last time, we tried to talk the mayor into giving us his ship, and he told us he would if we managed to find his grandson. So, since he was excited about the circus, his mother said so first time that we visited this town. Let's see if this guy has seen him. Now, that's not very nice to say. I mean, yes, the stereotypical, well, I guess the stereotype for circus or carnival people is that they're all like felons and criminals, I guess, that couldn't get better jobs, but just to say that they look dangerous. And how dangerous could they really possibly be? Hey, it's the fortune teller. You know, it's interesting because she says the same line even if you don't talk to her over an Altron. Now, for this battle, they actually introduce the evil puppets and the mannequins. And if I remember right, I know one of them has a hit point steal ability, while I think it's the mannequins that can steal the HP, while the evil puppets can actually poison you when they attack. Very nice hit by Max. And this is actually the last battle, I believe, that we see the giant bats. Which is great, because I really, really don't like them. Oh, I forgot to change her weapon. Yeah, that's the problem, even though... I saw the range of the attack. I forgot to change her weapon. Now, I think the evil puppets actually have a free spell. S sleep, I don't really use. I mean, it has a very poor hit rating. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not that it shows it. Yep, there's the freeze spell. Which freezes stronger than blazes. And against certain enemies, it can deal a lot more damage. There are actually a bunch of enemies that have uh, fire resistance. And yeah, as you see, Arthur hardly has any hit points. I think he starts off with like the stats of a mage. Four defense, little hit points. <clears throat> me. He has basically semi-decent attack. Now we're getting ready because I know those bats are coming down. Okay, it's just a normal attack. I honestly can't remember which one has the Evil Whisper, as I believe it's called, which can deal massive amount of damage. Alright, let's have Henri take out the Evil Puppet. Because she still has a few levels to go to catch up. Bats at this point, they're not a very big threat. I actually want to. S um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save that last enemy for either the main character or Henri. Well, at least we don't have to change our weapon this time, because 
nice critical hit. She already had the spear equipped. Oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a hit. This should get maxed to level 8. No, not quite. Before moving up, I want to take out these bats. Because even though they're not that big of a threat, the sleep spell that they have our sleep ability that they have is annoying. Nice, at least he was able to deal enough damage to kill the bat. Mm, he can't quite reach. So let's go ahead and just have him attack the bat, because with the power staff, our healers and mage actually have a very decent attack stat. Well, it's Chris's turn, I should be able to take her over there and heal the main character. I actually want Luke to come up here, which should attract the evil puppets down. Yeah, Chris, I am trying to get at least a little bit of experience with, because she is going to be in our party until the end of the game. I don't want to move any characters actually up onto the stage yet. Equip... Lance, so we can deal some decent damage to the giant bat. If we can actually hit it, he almost as bad as Luke. Bring Hans over. Arthur, you're about useless. The interesting thing about those Dire Clowns is they can deal a lot of damage, but really, once they move into position... Oh, I didn't realize they those come all the way down. Oh! So they're the ones that can do the Whisper, too. Okay. I thought it was the mannequins that did the whisper because these ones had magic and good poison. We actually want to bring Luke down here so he can be healed. Because that did a lot of damage. See, more than low could even heal total. Detox, that is the spell that removes poison. It's not a very... No, don't kill her. Oh... That sucks. I was gonna say, it's not a very effective spell, or very useful, because there are a limited amount of enemies that can poison. I don't even want to really waste my magic. Let's see, six points of damage, that's not bad, especially for a mage. Han's got a little attack boost with that level up. I'm gonna take this puppet out before it can do any other any more harm. There we go, level 8. He could have taken that puppet out in one hit, which is impressive. That just shows the power of that power ring that he's got equipped. Let's 
see Arthur's doesn't have that great of attack power to begin with. And of course the mannequin's gonna come over, attack the main character. Oh, and May's put to sleep. Let's take this evil puppet out before it can deal a massive amount of damage to anybody else. Now all we got left is this mannequin, those two dire clowns, the boss, which is the first, really, it's the first actual boss of a battle that we've had. Nice level up for Chris. Being a healer, she's gonna need all the magic points that she can get. But like I was saying, this is the first actual boss that we've had in a battle, and it does have magic defense, which is unlike all the other so-called bosses of the battles that we've fought so far. Well, that sleep spell wasn't too long. Interesting thing about these Dire Clowns, as long as you attack them from a range, they will not move. And I believe I am just out of range for the spell that the enemy up there has. It'd be really useful if I had Hans up there. But since May can't hit the broadside of a barn, he's kind of having to mop up the bat. And now, I will admit... This boss is going to be tough. Because we're not going to have the advantage of basically using magic. It's all going to come down to physical damage. Now if I remember right, this one has a weapon upgrade for Hans. I want to keep working on this dire clown. Nice critical hit by Ken. Moving all of our characters over so they will basically be out of range for the boss's attack, we're gonna go ahead and... I'm just gonna use Blaze level 2 because it's gonna finish this guy off. Bring in the main character over here. Let Ken attack the Dire Clown again. I really should have used the ring with the main character. Arthur, you're not going to be much use, but might as well get you in a formation where you'll be in ready to attack. Gort. I want to get the steel arrow to Hans. Have her on standby so she can heal. I know the treasure chest is empty. Take out the Dire Clown. Because unfortunately that is about all the use that Teo is going to be. Now I want to use the Power Ring. We'll use that on myself. Now 
Now the only issue with magical items is every time that you use one there is a chance that it will become damaged and the message it will always give you a message whenever an item becomes damaged such as the ring cracks or um, smoke rises from it just a simple message like that I want to wait until after the enemy's turn to actually start moving my characters to attack. Okay. You know, I always thought that like the big thing on the top was just like a head, but I realized that that's supposed to be like a hood or hair. Teo can deal what little damage you did because May did not do much at all see Blaze level 2 only did 4 damage which is not very impressive in all reality we'll see how well this boost did wow look at that damage he almost took it out one hit because of that boost unfortunately it already wore off that's crazy but should be just enough with his new arrow should be able to finish him off there we go nice and easy the light will never defeat darkness I didn't know Runefrost had dragons <laughs> that's why you're only supposed to go places with your family alright now if I remember right if coins on this one come up here that one's empty but this one definitely don't want to leave the defense potion behind all right we found the kids or the mayor's son let's go talk to him and get ourselves our boat now first I want to resurrect or revive our poor mage Alright, let's talk to the mayor, get our new boat. Okay. Now let's tell that old jerk to get the heck out of our way. See if he's gonna say no. Oh, he's already out of the way. Yep, it is ours. So let's get ready to set sail. What? What are you doing here? Why won't it let me move? So we're just gonna stand here while she sets fires. That ship is going down, yet it's still won't let us go, we just are watching the pretty blue flames spread. It's like, oh no, the witch has set our boat on fire and sunk it. What shall we do? How will we follow Cain now? Find out next time on Let's Play Shining Force. Thank you and have a nice day. Please leave a like if you enjoy the video and hit that subscribe button if you're new and have a good evening.